It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock. She got me, got me working. Focus working. Yeah, ain't nobody here doing like you getting her now. When you cook like I got. Got niggas trying to lie me. I can't ride without my pistol. I'm number four. Floor of the car, bro. Who you typing me? You know the type of nigga I am. Shoot it spikily. I don't give a damn what they saying. You better fight for me. You got me working. I hope it's working. You did it not now. Ooh, I got ya. I hope it's working. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the 20 Somethings Podcast. I'm your host, Lex, also known as Lex Goody, on my Instagram and TikTok. So make sure you follow me, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and turn your post notification bell so you can see every time I post a video. Um, I hope you guys are feeling good. I don't I'm I'm like one minute I'm okay, then I'm I feel like I'll be getting sick again. I don't fucking know. So don't mind me if my note like if I sound real stuffy and congested because I am okay. But as y'all can see from that time. Today we are talking about why loving the darkest parts of yourself actually makes you a better person. I already know none of us want to be viewed as people with imperfections and mental issues, okay? You know who I'm talking to, all right? We some of us be having some mental issues. So none of us want to be perceived as people that have these issues and are going through what, like what we're really going through mentally. But let me tell you why. Being somebody that embraces your darkest parts actually makes you a one percenter, okay? Somebody who is not out here like that, okay? That it's very rare, babe. When you choose to embrace the darkest parts of yourself, it helps you to like find your happiness faster. It helps you to not waste no motherfucking time. If you know you're a type of person that when you start drinking or when you start hanging out with a certain type of person or when you get triggered a certain type of way, you act a certain type of way, a type of way that you're not really that proud of, bro. Are you going to change it or are you going to still, you know what I'm saying? It's just better to understand them so that you're like, you know what? I don't like how I feel after I do certain shit and I know that this triggers me and shit like that. Don't waste your time by not finding the people and habits that you want to have around you in a healthy, positive way. Don't beat on people that you know you get angry and you, you like to fight and you like to whatever or you take stuff personal. Stop putting yourself in these situations that like act like that. Or to feel and regret shit the next day or not be proud of your actions and then the cycle continues. Why? Because some of y'all is addicted to trauma. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it. Some of y'all are addicted to trauma. And it's okay because it's like you can't really help it. When trauma is really that bad to you, it will stick around for a while. But this is why I'm saying you're a one percenter because a lot of people rather just be negative because what? Negativity sells. Just like sex sells. It's easier to be negative because you get more praise for it. You get more like wows and like cl you get more clicks. Let's say that, you know, in social media terms, you get more clicks. It doesn't mean you're going to get a whole bunch of likes, but some people are definitely going to click on it. Okay. Because you're the type of person that doesn't mind putting out an energy that everybody can relate to because what 99% of people are negative and then you have those one percenters but if you understand like bro yes I may have done some things I'm not proud of maybe I have certain triggers but I'm so proud of myself and I definitely want to work on it but I'm not going to be able to fix it while I'm in certain environments and around certain people and also when you really don't embrace the darkest parts of yourself you're only going to be around people that validate your bullshit because clearly you don't want to be real enough to be like, hey, I have a problem. Hey, I have this, that. So what are people going to do? Just accept you as you are. And then the type of people that accept you are going to be people that you actually don't look up to. It's just that you're in your trauma stage and you traumatize and you want to hold on to toxic shit and invite toxic shit in your life. You want to be dependent on people? Because people that embrace their darkest, their darkest parts of themselves be like, okay, I don't care if people tell me that I'm always by myself. Guess what I'm doing? I'm, I'm at home um, healing my mind, resting my body, thinking about my next big move. You're not sitting here chilling with them in some, in some car, hot boxing all fucking day or hanging out somewhere doing nothing that's benefiting you. 
You're doing what you want to do because you're not. You don't give a fuck how anybody wants to view you. Even if they want to try to bring up your darkest secret, you know them all. You don't need nobody to make you feel no type of way about nothing. Okay, so if people want to feel like, oh, you're a little, you, you, you're a little narcissistic, you're a little this, you're a little um, bossy, you're a little strung up on yourself, whatever people's versions of negative about you is to them, you won't even motherfucking care about that shit because you're like, bro, I know how what I do gets the job done. I know that what I do matters in my life and where I'm going. Like it's working for me. Like being me is working for me. So just because you don't like me because I'm not appealing to your type of crowd anymore, I don't know what to tell you. So I rather be the type of person that owns up to her darkest secrets. So can't nobody tell me shit. Oh, you're you talk too loud, bitch. I know. Oh, you be you be cursing everybody out, bitch. I know. You don't know how to take shit serious. You stay laughing. I bitch. I know. Like, girl. I don't need nobody trying to tell me who I am. I hate that. Like, that's like the one thing I can't say is when people try to tell me who I am. Bitch, I know. So be that type of person that just knows who you are. And then when people want to bring up certain shit, you like, it just helps you be your better self. It helps you focus on things that actually matter in life. You don't need to be worried about this person, that person, comparing yourself. And you just hang with low vibrational people that also got insecurities and care about negative shit. Like, no. Become a one percenter and somebody that actually brings value to the table of life. And this opportunity that we were so gratefully given. Okay, be a blessing, not a lesson. All right? Don't get caught up in trying to be tough and hard and, and stick with people because of the time and the history. And, oh, I don't care if I'm out here looking dumb with you. I'll just stick with you forever because I'm that loyal. No, go find what makes the fuck you happy and disappoint these people, okay? So I thank you guys so much for tuning into the 20-somethings podcast. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.